Welcome to 24 Willie Mays Plaza, the home of the Giants and Oracle Park. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the San Francisco Giants. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. And on the mound today, Blake Snell. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. Okay, all set to go. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. The lefty fires. And a bunt towards third. And it goes just foul. Bunting, and it's in the air. Whips it to first on the run. No hit here on the bunt attempt. They get the out. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Luis oh, Robert stands in now, looks at that one inside. Snell, he has a reputation. I don't know, maybe a knack for working himself out of tough situations that he finds himself in. You know, you like that in a relief pitcher, but when you have it for a starting pitcher, a guy that can get out of a tight spot, that is pretty valuable. One down, base is empty. That's ripped. Base hit. Batting third, the designated hitter, Andrew Benintendi. Runner on at first with one gone. Andrew Benintendi steps up. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. It's always an exciting day at the ballpark when you have a pitcher as good as Blake Snell on the mound. I mean, this lineup is dealing with a six foot four lefty that does a great job of missing bats and has a variety of pitches that can beat you. The 0 1. There's a strike. Snell is tall. He can throw heat. And he's the type of pitcher that loves to throw his best stuff as much as possible, which includes a nasty curveball. Snap throw to first. Robert dives back in. Man at first, one away. And that's off the inside edge. Now one and two. And now the lefty will chase that time. Swings and misses, and there's two down. Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off with two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Andrew Hall at the plate now. That's ball one. The 1 0. That one out to right. Drops into the glove, and that'll do it. The White Sox leave one, and now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, getting the nod in this one. Hi, Bush. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Tyler Fitzgerald, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. The 
Hawaii to kick the pitch. Late that time, and it's strike two. Oh, I just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And that's down and away. <laughs> on the ground. And it's through for him. So a man on base to start the inning. Here's Mark Canna. Canna. He tried to get him to chase on a slider no one, no down and away. Fitzgerald gets his lead at first with nobody out. And another ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Bush keeping him close. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. That one misses. And now 3 0. Here comes a pitch. And ball Whoa. four to a board. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. Here's Elliot Ramos. And fouled off. First and second here, no outs. There's the strike up high, and it's 0 2. Mm. Just misses there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. One runs in. The second run scores. It's two zip. Gets the job done as he brings home the pair. When you connect and it jumps off your ball like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Runner in scoring position, no outs. Matt Chapman now at the plate. And that one got a piece of him. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point he wanted. This to center field. Robert moves under it. And he makes the catch. Runner tags it second. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. When you're already in scoring position, if you decide to tag, you really want to be more than 100% confident that you can make it safely to third. Because otherwise, you take a potential run scoring opportunity off the board. Great throw to third. And up next for San Francisco, Casey Schmidt. Step off throw to first. And he's back in there. First pitch, and he just misses. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Aye. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one and one. one. Strike. Two outs. And a foul ball. At the belt and fires. 
Swings and misses, struck him out. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back here in San Francisco, here's Corey Lee. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And here it comes. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. That is good. The third base. Game. So up next, Miguel Vargas. That one finds the corner. Strike one. Snell, a guy that comes at you with one of the biggest curveballs around. It's got a ton of movement. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. Ramos going back. Makes the catch up against the wall. And what makes it so good is the tilt and the late break to it. Kind of reminds me of Andy Pettit as far as how sharp that breaking ball is. And here is Sosa to the plate. Right through there for a strike. Boog, I think sometimes it's best to go up there and actually look for the breaking ball because if you're trying to hit the fastball and adjust to that breaking ball, which you know he wants to put you away with, you're just going to swing and miss. And a swing and a miss. One ball. The Giants leading by two here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And it's a three up, three down inning. Nothing doing for the White Sox. They trail things here to nothing. here at Oracle Leading Park. Up, Bottom up, of the down inning. Down. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. As the lefty gets to work. Mike Yastrzemski originally drafted by the Orioles. 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013. The Giants got him in March of 2019. And San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summers Gill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike Two calls balls. as possible. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. The 2-2 on the way. That one missed. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. The catcher, Patrick. Now, Patrick Bailey. It's amazing, we get a chance to talk to a lot of opposing managers. This guy scares managers on the other team as much as anyone. And he gets to fly beneath the radar with the other Ball more recognizable down. names in this lineup. One down, base is empty. That's in there, and one and one. And yeah, nope. that's a little that's high. In the air, left field, jokes on the run towards the line. Dives, what a play! Batting done. 
And wow, what a great diving catch, Ziggy. StatCast says that was a near perfect route, and it had to be. But that's just a big part of his game. I mean, this guy's instincts just seem to always put him in a position to make special plays, and right there, he's done it again. Grant McCray stands in here, takes ball one low. The pitch. That hey. one finds the zone. And one the and count one. one and one. Two out spaces empty. Yeah. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. The line of the pitch. a base hit and that extends the inning this lefty matchup things not going so well up next that guy not your shot back to the leadoff spot Tyler of the Giants Gerald. lineup Tyler Fitzgerald getting ready to hit ball nope. one no right. strikes Two outs. And ball there's two. a ball. Two and out. Aye. And that's a strike. McCray off the of first with two away. Headed towards the corner, jokes towards the line, makes a nice grab and a full sprint. And that ends the inning. One left for San Francisco, but they're on top 2 nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And here is Dominic Fletcher. Dominic. Fletcher in the eighth spot in today's lineup. A former first round pick back in 2019. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. All in one. Wow. That's how you're close to the zone. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and one. Three. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. I don't know about you, Chris, but that felt like a weird at bat right there. Didn't give much to hit until the final pitch, and he still got the backwards K. Yeah, not a single pitch was actually inside the strike zone, but he was being very aggressive in the box and fell behind in the count. Then they finally do challenge him, and he couldn't get the bat off his shoulder. Kind of a strange strikeout for sure, Boo. Corey hey. Jones. Batted with one down, takes a strike. The Giants up by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Just oh, missed. Breaking ball inside. Now two balls and a strike. One down, base is empty. And that's, that's a little three. bit high. And that's ball three. Inside corner for a strike. The count is full. Payoff pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Schmidt tosses to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. 
the bat at number eight. Nikki. Digging Lopez. in. Nikki Lopez. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Ball, Slider ball. misses outside. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy hey. having those elite defenders behind them. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Well, you know, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two outs. In the air, right field. Drifts towards it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. of the third the first and now the first baseman Mark, Mark Canna. Canna Bush back to work big stop center field man aboard on the leadoff single went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle you often hear the phrase short to it long through it and that's a great example of it right there got the barrel in the hitting zone early squared it up with the well-timed swing and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field Ramos batting for the second time and that's strike one pitch in the dirt gets away from Lee so a wild pitch allows the runner to advance well that's part of the risk when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt even as good as catchers are these days at blocking pitches that one just got away enough and that takes the double play opportunity away for now pitch fall off foul no outs runner on second oh. and it skips in the dirt well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here too too he's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat so might have it timed up and ready for it Ground ball left side, and that's just foul. And he deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And it's second. And another ball. On the ground, a third. In time to Vaughn. So it was a long battle at the plate, but they still managed to get the out. Now batting. Third base. Matt. Matt. Here's Matt, Matt Chapman. Matt. Hit by a pitch his first time up. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Makes the grab, and there's two gone. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives, and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. And now the DH, he's 0 for 1. Hey. 
three. right through there for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. And that's outside. Canna at second with two down. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That one is upstairs. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Headed for the plate. The throw in. It's off the head. The run comes in, and they lead by three. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And up next for the Giants, Casey Schmidt. Pitch ball misses. One. Ball one. Counts one and oh. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. Trying to get him to chase on the change up that time. Now snap throw to first. Safe, he's and he's in. back safely. And a pitch. That Aye. one finds the zone, and it's two and one. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And that's a base hit in the left field. Here's the throw to the plate. It's off the run, and he scores. And it's 4-0. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Anytime you whip a long drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And digging in for San Francisco, Patrick Bailey. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. That's a ball. That one at 95 missed up top, and yeah, that's ball one. Squirts away a little bit. Well done behind the dish. Activity in the bullpen. Garrett Crochet, the lefty with big swing and miss stuff, is getting ready. And the pitch. That well, one misses. And now 3-0. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Next offering is in for a strike. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Two on, two outs. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked no, the hitter. No, no, no. Man, you got to no, challenge no, no, no. the guy with the fastball. No, no, no. Digging in, it's the no, speedy no, no, no. outfielder, Grant McCray. And he's already singled in this game. Swing and a miss. 0 oh, 1. One. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Base is loaded. Two down.
the pitch. Oh, that's up there. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind yep. in the count. Next pitch misses way outside. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Three. Got him looking. They limit the damage here. Two runs in the inning, but they strand three. On to inning number four. It's the Giants four and the White Sox nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the fourth, now the number two hitter, Luis Robert. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. That's a strike. You know, these White Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Whoa, Next pitch man. is inside, and the count is one and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Kick Sandios. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The wind and the pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. The high heat too much on that one. With that kind of velocity and no, elevated no, no, fastball, no, 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 even no, no, if it's still no, no, in the strike zone, can be no, tough no, no, for hitters to get on top of. Ben intending to the plate. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. That one in there across the letters. Swings and misses. And a count is 0-2. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can One go ball. anywhere he Two wants strength. to go right here. <laughs> Left-hand hitter waits. Three. The punch out there. That's the second out. A oh, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Glove side command, the fastball firm to the outside corner. Andrew. Tell you what, very oh. difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. Two outs, base is empty. Andrew Vaughn now. Oh. Just missed. on that fastball one ball one strike next That's offering ball. is downstairs the wind of the pitch in the air right field brings it in for the third out Here in San Francisco, there's the shortstop at the play, Tyler Fitzgerald. Here comes a pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. All these Giants putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. Looking at the numbers, they've got four hits when they're behind in the count. That says these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and just not giving up, despite what the count says. Pulls that one foul. And if you're a manager or a hitting coach, you love to see your guys really fighting for every at bat, every pitch. It tells you a lot about how they showed up to the ballpark today. Hey. Right through there for a strike. Hey. 
just missed the inside corner. Three balls, two strikes. And that one in the air center field. He's got it. One down. Up next, next is John. John. The first baseman. And Mark. here's the first baseman, Mark Kent. Yeah. There's a strike. One out, base is empty. Foul ball there. Oh. Up and in, and a count one and two. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And a pitch. Bounced up the middle. Throws to first in time. Now got left field. Elliot. Elliot Ramos, the next giant to hit. Drove in two runs on a double back in the first. He's one for two. Now the one. Well struck right field. Fletcher going back to the warning track. Makes the catch. Back here at Oracle Park, new inning getting started. And now the catcher comes up to him. Corey Lee. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these White Sox, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Swing and a miss. One ball. As he was out front that time. Bows it off, still one and two. And now the lefty got him looking. And one gone. Just dropped it in there on the top of the strike zone. Oh, Certainly not what he was trying to do with that curveball by any means, but at the plate. You could tell he wasn't expecting it either. I'd say he got away with the big time hanger on that one. And now Miguel Vargas fly to left his first time. That hey. one catches the zone, and that's strike one. One down, base is empty. That one fouled off. And the One next ball. pitch is way Two outside. Strikes. The White Sox down by four, and we're at the top of the fifth. One and two now. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two two now. Bows it back with two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Grinding a B right here. About to see pitch number ten. Good eye on that spot. Foul will 
see another payoff pitch. The lefty fires. And that's ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Lennon Sosa steps to the plate for the White Sox. His first at bat was a strikeout. That misses, and it's one to no. And a pitch. Yeah. I got a ball, one strike. And it is two and one. Shoots a line drive single into right center. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. The white seven. Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. Struck out looking in his first at bat. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Runners at first and second with one gone. There's a strike. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. And the 0-2. And they'll do it again. The 0-2. Ball one. And he chases that one. Picks up strikeout number seven. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. On the ground to short. Fitzgerald. They take the force out. out. And that is the inning. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. It's the Giants four and the White Sox nothing. Matt Chapman Leading will hit next. The, Giants. the third baseman, Matt, Matt. Chapman. Chapman. The wind of the pitch. That smash towards center. And a quick out number one. Now that the designated hitter. Hurrah. Next is the designated hitter. One for two. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Just nope. missed. The wind to kick the 2 0. -oh. And ball another three. ball. That's in for a strike. And a foul ball. Bases empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. And puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. No oh, that's number a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter seven. right there. I mean, Thank that you. pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it off. Unfortunate for him. Schmidt ball. stands Big in time. with two away as he takes a ball. Oh. 
This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Two down, nobody on. Hard hit, left side. Whips it across. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing there for San Francisco, but they're in front, four nothing. Top six, Leading off stepping in, man. the White Sox leadoff man, Nicky, Nicky Lopez. Lopez. The wide to kick the pitch. Nice. And there's a strike. Lopez, 29 years old, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2016. Up the middle, and it gets by him. So, man aboard. So, up next for Chicago, Luis Robert. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. And he'll one. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Eight. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. Yeah, You've yeah, got to yeah. be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something yeah, off, extend that at bat. Ben Attendi up here. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And it pumps it a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. The old one. Good oh, eye right there. The Giants leading by four, and we're the top half of the sixth. That misses, and it's two and one. At the belt and fires. Aye. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Left hand batter waits. That to right. Makes the catch. The first base is number 25, Andrew. Man at first. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Andrew Vaughn. Lifted in the air, right center field. Yastrzemski has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Giants four, and the White Sox nothing. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Garrett Crochet. He's got some of the best swing and miss stuff going right now. He's striking out hitters at a very high rate this year, so this should be fun to watch. So digging in, Mike Yastrzemski. The right field. Pitch. Grounder off the pitcher. The throw is late, and they come away without an out. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Patrick Bailey, the next to hit. Swing, and a ball popped up. Gone. Has this one sized up? Calls it in, and there's one away. Now got it. Center fielder, Grant. And now the center fielder, Grant McCray. Let's go, 
There's a strike. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. And the lefty with the 0-1. No, Just down. missed. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jonathan Cannon appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Kicks and fires. Out to short. Nice stop. Throws from the seat of his pants. There's one. What an acrobatic play right there. Knocks it down. Throws from the seat of his pants. And just looks like he's playing in the backyard. He makes it look really easy. Back to the top of the lineup. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next giant to hit. One for three. Slapped foul. McCray off of first with two away. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. He's in a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. The 0-2. And a good oh, eye there. Good location, good take. Sometimes you want the hitter to prove he can lay off that pitch. Three. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. So the Giants leave one, but they lead it four to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the catcher, Corey Lee. As the lefty gets to work, right through there for a strike. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. The 0-1. And a curve misses outside. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. In the air, left side. Ramos on his way over. Pulls it in for the out. Then there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. Now, that now, front now. shoulder Third coming three, open instead of three, staying down. closed. Four, if he four, does four. that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Rip to third. Throws the first in time. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the now, air. Now, Let's the defense work behind him with another ground now, ball. Now, Good execution. So cool. And now here is Lennon Sosa. And that one fouled off. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's nothing in two. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. And that's off the inside edge. Going to count one and two. Inside just missed. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Down in order, go the White Sox. They're down 4 nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the first baseman, Mark Canna. Crochet back to work. 
Pitches in for a strike. Going one. All these Giants doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They've done a great job finding holes in the defense. Exactly oh. half of their hits have come off one the oh. bat less than 90 miles per hour. So the ball isn't exactly jumping off the lumber, but they're finding a way to make it work. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That'll fire up the dugout. It's five zip. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I could feel that swing from the booth. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And up next for San Francisco, Elliot Ramos. Ball yep, one there. Right through there for a strike. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The 1 1 is fouled off. Nobody on, nobody out. Here, the bottom of the seven. To third. Slides for the stop. The throw. And very nicely done for the out. Just so impressed with the movement yeah, on that play. Footwork yeah, was excellent. The yeah, arm yeah. strength was there. And of yeah, course, yeah, yeah. the most important part was getting the out. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. Just missed. That catches the corner. One and one. Oh, that pumped him. And that's now twice he's been hitting this one. Now we're about to be first hand. Retired players we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days, but getting drilled by a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk about. Number 64 ah. in the box now. No balls in a strike. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches mm -hmm. may be a good complement to that fastball. Mm -hmm. Come on, and here it comes. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Two away. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. Oh, At worst-case scenario, on. it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. On the ground, Sosa. They get the That's force. Out. And that is the third out of the inning. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. And the lead is now 5 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number Taylor Rogers. Taylor. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. So digging in, Leading Dominic right Fletcher. Fight. The right fielder, number seven, Dominic Fletcher. And the pitch. Strike one.
good eye in that spot. Next offering is in for a strike. Fights it off, he'll see another. And he deals. Three. Got him swinging. Had him way out front of the slur. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding now, all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Hayden Birdsong getting ready to go. Hicks warming up as well. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Wouldn't Two chase balls. that time. Perfect. Swing and a ground ball out to short. In time to oh. Canna. Two up, two down here in the top of the eight. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. And now it's going to be Nicky Lopez. And ball one. Two outs. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Jack hey. Swing hey. went around. And the count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Next two offering ball. misses two down strike. and away. Now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Robert in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next offering in there for a strike. And a count even at one. And that's in for a strike. Step off, throw to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Lopez, the runner at first with two gone. And foul ball. One, two. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. So one left for the White Sox. Still looking at that five nothing deficit. Bottom of the eighth. Yeah. And digging in for San Francisco. Mike Yastrzemski. Right. Pitch. Misses outside, and that is ball one. That one blasted deep to right. 
And it's off the wall. The catcher number 14. So a man aboard. Patrick. Now it's the Giants catcher, Patrick Bailey. Bailey. Come on, let's keep it going. And a foul ball. Right through there for a strike. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. And that one's a little bit low. One and two to count. Excellent arm action on that two-strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. That one lifted to left. Makes the grab. Now got it. Center fielder. Grant. McCray. Here's the center fielder, Grant McCray. Just off the That's inside insane. edge. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The lefty, the 1 0. Aye. Hit on the ground might be two. Flips to second, but safe at first. No, it's a fielder's choice. So the lineup flips over, and now the shortstop, Tyler Fitzgerald. Step off throw to first. They got him, and that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Giants five, and the White Sox nothing. Closer, number 74. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And the righty deals. This ball's chopped on the ground. It's time to Canna. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Up next to Chicago. The first baseman. He's two outs away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Andrew Vaughn. Foul out of play off to the right. The Giants leading by five here at the top of the ninth. There's a swing and a miss. On two. Got him swinging. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So the credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Boy. Clearly he had him fooled. White Sox down to their final out. And here's the catcher, Corey Lee. Gets the call. 0-1.
two down, nobody on. There's a strike. Absolutely frozen on that heater right down the middle, and that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot, especially after falling behind on a good first pitch. This could end it. And One that's ball, in the dirt. Two strikes. The one, two. That one the other way. Go to first. Oh, ball game. And the Giants use three pitchers to combine for the shutout. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. Five nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.